Yeah. Roll tape, please. Yeah. Um, bye bye. And you prefer Matt, Matt or Matthew? Matthew. Or? Matthew, Matthew okay. McConaughey. Okay. Yeah. You know, Matthew, I graduated from high school in 1976, which is pretty much the era of, of Days and Confused. Uh, now, that movie wasn't exactly the biggest budget in the world. Uh, like, how low was the budget on that film in terms of uh, uh, little perks that you had when making it? That was my first film. Um, I don't. I mean, I I think I did I. Where? I think I had a little, a little honey wagon. I had my trailer. That was great. I had a place to put my bag. Um, it was there and out of the truck. It was, as far as the perks, man, I don't think we, I think we were having so much fun working and it was so great to just have the opportunity to do it. It was all like one big perk, you know? Right. You know, it's amazing how many actors, uh, early films have included horror films. Uh, Jason Alexander yeah. from Seinfeld, John Travolta's first film was a horror film. Uh, the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Return. sequel. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, was that a little bit of a bizarre experience to make that movie? Yeah, it was bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were, we were shooting in a, in a house out in Pflugerville. Um, you know, worked on that, made $300 a week. <clears throat> and it was, but it was so much fun. Yeah. Working with the girl Renee Zellweger and Kim Hinkle who directed it, and Robbie Jacks, we had a blast. Um, and that's a big release to be able to go do play characters like that and have that much fun. You're riding around in a, in a dump truck with a... It's going to be unusable because of audio. You want me to go back to start with the Return of the Chainsaw okay. Massacre? Okay, yeah, well, I'll ask you, well, special effects-wise, what were the worst things you had to do uh, with that horror film? What kind of interesting things did you have to do uh, effects-wise? No, oh, we had, you know, I, there's a scene where I'm cutting up my chest. We put, laid the blood on the side of the knife and... Do all that. Um, we <laughs> we burn people. We <laughs> what else? Um, the, the, there's a plane, the crop duster that comes down. The propellers takes him out. So it's like timing the jump back for the crop duster to take you out. There was a people flying off of roofs. People with chainsaws. The engine going without the chain going. Um, well, throwing matches on okay. it. It was. Well, well, were you ever scared making that movie? Was that ever, did you ever think, oh boy, I might get hurt in this? Well, there were, um, no, you had to watch it in that, because you get into a character like that, and it's like, yeah, you can do anything, and this is all fine, and of course you think everyone's taking care of everything, but you have to go, wait a minute, let me suss this situation out, and how safe is this? But it was all, it was all fine. We probably got, we probably walked that line quite a few times. I have a friend who's an attorney, and she rehearses her speeches in the shower. Uh, mm. The uh, the day before, what kind of like private rehearsals did you do for for this? Oh, uh, I broke the broke the a lot of the things down into a code, and I and it, it, that's something that's interesting. You said she does it in the shower. I like to do things when I'm driving with some music. I like to have a few other things going on, so it's not just myself and and the, and the words. Um, that's nice. It really, it's a good way to become natural that way. It's nice, you know, you can sing it. You can throw it out, say it different ways. Um, that was it, and then just yeah, and then go in and see what happens. You know, I love it uh, seeing how uh, when actors go on the street, how they're recognized. When you're on location with Sandra Bullock, uh, mm -hmm. how did people react to her on the street? Um, actually, we weren't on the street too much. We'd be out. We we were out at a. We'd go every you know big group. We'd all go dancing and stuff sometimes, and of course. You know, uh, a lot of guys in there want to want to want to come up and dance with her. Um, no, she gets a lot of you know a lot of attention that way. A lot of it. Uh, yeah, she gets. I mean, obviously a lot. Yeah. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. yeah. So are you, are you getting psyched now to be recognized after this great performance in this I'm movie? Getting, you know what I'm getting psyched for? This film called Contact. Um, it's Bob Zemeckis is directing, and it's with Jodie Foster. It's going to be working on in late September. That's what I'm getting psyched for. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. No, it's a great job. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you.